What's up everybody? This is Chris with South Carolina Gun School and uh, we're going to do part three to our four pillars for a dominating foundation. Uh, part three, or I should say number three, is skill proficiency. Skill proficiency is, is exactly what it says. And, and it's really just boiling down to going out and doing practice. You, know, you can do dry fire practice, you can do live fire practice, uh, we've got the simulation stuff that you can have access to. We don't have any classes going on to get practice in as well. Uh, something I normally recommend to all our students is try to get at least 50 rounds every two weeks. And that's really all you need. That's normally what I do is I try to get 50 rounds every two weeks. If it's not something where I can get to that, I'm using the simulation stuff to get in some dry fire practice where I can still work my draw and get off, you know, one or two shots. Uh, same thing out here on the live range you know just work on doing the draw because anybody can pick up a gun and pull the trigger it's being able to work from the draw out to that target very quickly that's where you're going to gain the most time and be able to live from a violent situation not just survive you want to live so what you can do is come out here set up a single target i'll be honest i'm not in any tactical gear i've got gym shorts on I've got the belt that I normally wear uh, when I'm doing classes and just put it on, put, put the holster on and go to town. There's really not much more to the skill proficiency uh, but practice. You've got to make sure you're practicing. And if it's just 50 rounds once a month, that you know, get out and do something. If, Like I said, if you can't afford to do that, I know ammo can get expensive, finding the time and stuff for it then feel free to hit me up and like I said if I don't have classes going on you can rent the simulation equipment I've got I'll get it all set up for you and have it ready to go when you arrive and you can start practicing from there so just what I what exactly what I mean is when you're coming out to practice make sure you got eyes and ears I'm gonna go ahead and put my ears on so when you're working on that skill proficiency it's just very very simple things And it's just a simple, get yourself ready. That's all you're doing. Just work two to three shots. Just like that. That's all you've got to do. It doesn't have to be that quick. If you want to take some time in between, that's fine. But you've got to come out and you've got to practice these skills. This is, as far as picking a gun up, your fundamentals, and pointing it out at the target and shooting, yeah, it's like riding a bike. But if you're not working that draw, it's going to slow down. You've got to continue to work from that draw because when you're carrying that's what it's going to be like you're not going to be walking around like this all the time that's it's just not going to happen you know now if the shit hits the fan that's a different story but for every day you've got to come out and you've got to do practice like i said i'm not i don't mean every day 50 rounds twice a week or 50 rounds once a month and just come out So that slight hesitation I had when I after I drew, those are the things that, that the skill coming out and practicing are going to work on. That's working that skill proficiency. And I'm out. So it's that simple. That's what you've got to do. You need to come out you need to practice. If you don't have access to a range like this, uh, I know around this area, you've got uh, the free DNR range that's in Pickens. You've got some indoor ranges, Palmetto State Armory, places like that. I'm not really sure how they are as far as working a draw, but if you can't afford the ammo, you can't get out to one of those ranges, hit me up and I'll be glad to let you come into our place and rent some of the equipment and uh, you can use that to work doing the same thing and then you're not spending any money on ammo all you've got to do is 
small little fee to rent the equipment I'll set it up for you however you want it set up you come in just work that draw work that draw work that draw the quicker you get at the draw the better chances you have at surviving so again if you don't have access to this then you can have access to this like I was talking about out on the range our simulation is something that you can come in and rent if we don't have any classes going on just to continue to work that skill proficiency and if you can't afford doing you know 50 rounds once a month or 50 rounds twice a week I'm sorry twice a month uh, every two weeks if they can I understand get a little expensive this is going to be a little bit cheaper coming in and using some of the simulation I'm not charging any kind of outrageous fees but it is something that you can come in and rent I'll get everything set up for you and then you can come in and just like we were doing out on the range just continue to work from that draw you know, one two maybe three shots and just get that practice in As you can see, I've kind of got multiple targets set up. Work that draw, work some transitions. Same thing with the rifle. I've got a bolt that I can put in your AR. You can still come in, work transitions, work working left side to right side, and different things like that. So we've got tons of options for you to be able to practice and continue to grow your skill proficiency. Because like we were discussing, that is number three for the uh, four pillars for a dominating foundation. So skill proficiency is something that that you've got to do. You've got to continue to work that draw because that's how you're going to be carrying. Like I said, you're not going to be carrying walking around like this all the time. It's going to be in a holster. Even if it's an open carry state, it's still in a holster. So the faster you can work coming out of that holster, the better off you're going to be. So if you, again, if you can't get 50 rounds once a month or 50 rounds once every two weeks, or even if it's just 25 rounds every two weeks, split the 50 rounds up, go 25 rounds every two weeks. And just work from that draw, take a shot. Work from the draw, take a shot. Work from the draw, just like that. That's all you're doing. And you don't even really, if you can't afford this, or you can't afford the rounds, do it empty. Just work on drawing and present the gun. Plus the good thing about this too is we'll have you working reloads even with the simulation software. We've got the mag pouches for you, you can, for you to use if you don't have mag pouches. But this is a great thing to come in and get practice if you don't want to spend live rounds. Or if you want to do live rounds, do live rounds. But continue to practice, continue to work that skill proficiency. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.